hoy. Okay, well that's filling up. You know what? I need fuel on this tractor. Shoot. Probably oh, shouldn't be taking time to do this, but... I have to sit here and babysit this because he's going to turn right around and be stopped by this thing. Shoot. Okay. Now, wheat harvest has stopped. <laughs> you guys, I gotta get this back. Oh yeah, here's the beehives right here. Facing a funny direction though, I didn't know they would do that. I'm not sure how to change that anyway. Farming the old-fashioned way. Um, not taking out a lot of big loans. I got $200,000 borrowed just to get things started, but um, the rest determined to come by hard work and good crops and wise management. That is my plan. Hmm. There's the new road over on the other side of that cattle farm there. I had, might go out to the to the other road, but I don't know explore that someday. But for now I gotta take the tried and true and get my butt back over to that combine. 
Maybe it was the planter that was going slow. This one, the small planter, I think, that was running slow. I hadn't, uh, hadn't optimized the speed on that. Oh, good, I can... Uh, I can go ahead and leave this filling here. Check on other stuff. I have no idea where the red harvester is. Uh, I need to get to the middle of the field so I can see something. Where'd he go? There you go. He's not full, is he? No, he's still going. Okay. Let me check. 62. Okay, yeah, he'll make it pretty close to me. Maybe just a little past. And I'll forget that he's gone past me. Because that's what I do. Is he going to make it back? Probably not. Let me see how full he is. Oh, yeah, he will. Okay. Cool. Let's see how these fields are doing. They're all at medium ripe. I think. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe that's the one medium ripe there. No, that might be... I have no idea. All right. Yeah, you know, that one's ready. But so is this one. I'll bet, I'll bet, I'll bet. Oh, he's still going. Well, I'll be darned. How about that? All right, I'll watch him then, because... 70%. Oh, shoot. I always go past New Holland. There we go. This guy's going to be done before you get one wheat field done. Whoa. Rescue the other one. Oh yeah, I got a mowing mission to do too. <laughs> eh. Probably shouldn't have taken that. Oh well. That was the ball field, wasn't it? Drive over there. Yeah, I knew I was going to do that. that. Oops. It's going to park right here. I don't want to start the clock on that. Get this guy out of the way. Let's do a mowing job. Let's see if I got the touch today.
There, it went up from 60% to 80% on speed. That ought to be enough. This makes me dizzy now at this speed. Whoa. Let's get things done, though. There we go. Holy cow, $25,000, $26,000. Wow. See if I can get through here without hitting anything this time. I'm sure if I go through like a wuss. Okay, I'm going to wait there. And get these trailers unloading, or these combines unloading, rather, or whatever I said. <sighs> Great. Right alongside me, so I gotta go turn around anyway. Great, great, great. Okay, that's going to be good. I don't know if this is out. That's good. Oh, no, it's not. i got to move that trailer. <clears throat> She's going to come right along here. Yeah, we're going to follow this guy for a minute. I'll be right back. There's a narrowest little strip of grain you'll probably ever see harvested. Is it going to pick that up and keep going? I wonder. I hope it does. That would be really cool. Maybe that's the trick. If I start a little outside on the field, it'll still have that narrow strip. And, uh, hmm, learned something new today. Oh, no, it's going to run out here because it feels crazy. I'm going to start a little farther out, maybe about half of that first round pick that up and then it should have enough of this. I don't know if that's going to make a difference because it's still going to go to the end, isn't it? Shoot. Oh well. I tried. Where's the combine? I'm going to run into it. Turn around. Oh. Hmm, make fresh coffee, and that is really hot. I just burned my tongue, I think. Yep, I did. Why is that so hot all of a sudden? Well, wow. Yeah, I think the warehouse is up there when you see the white building. That's for the highest price for, what, wheat? I will refuel. And I wonder what the heck I was doing. Really? He's not even going to finish that? Oh, you stupid... Uh. I'm going to do this myself.
Whoa, that turned slow. Holy cow. Glad I can run over these bushes. It would drive me nuts if I had to go around all those. <coughs> Maybe in 15 you have to uh, harvest them before you can go around. Oh, there we go. Alright, get back to work. Really? Um, where is the combine? No, come by. There it is. Oh, I made a good haul mowing that uh, baseball field. I didn't think I got that much out of that. Huh. All right, ready for the next adventure. Whoa. Almost overturned there. Oversteered, I mean. Oops. Okay. We're good. I think this guy just about finished this without. But, will there be enough room in the trailer? I better go empty this. Shoot. Oh, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. How are we doing on... Uh, see, I think this is the second stage of ripeness, isn't it? Matches the grass. Huh. Oh, he got quite a ways. Didn't think he'd get that far. Might as well catch up to him, fill up the trailer. You turd. I hate when I do that. I gotta make the corner. Good. Just made it. <clears throat> All right, let's go to Ruptus. Uh, oh yeah, I did. <laughs> I thought it was in the uh, biogas plant for a second there. Got confused. Tales of the farm. As I said, I grew up on a farm. I think my favorite story is the time my <coughs> dad got mad at a boar. It's a male pig for city slickers. Um, I don't know what he did or didn't do, but it was just a frustrating day, I think, and, and they didn't, didn't want to get up or move out of the way or get out of the water trough or something or maybe get out of the way so he could feed him and uh, I don't know and I don't know why he had a 2 by 4 handy but he took a 2 by 4 and knocked him out <laughs> he got his revenge on, on pigs later on though when he put an electric fence he turned it off for the winter of course and then he had to go and check it hook it up again for the spring and uh, 
one of the last years he farmed, he called me over. And I was in a barn along with him where the electric fence controller was, and he said, "Look at that! Watch! Look at that sow out there laying laying on the electric fence." And so I, when when I found once I found it, and he turned it on, <laughs> pig squealed and ran away as fast as she could. So he had his fun moments. <coughs> <clears throat> My job, as I think I've said, uh, every morning during the summer is to go out, if there's a short in the electric fence, it's my job to go patrol the electric fence and find uh, the sh cause of the short and fix it. <clears throat> now, we had a pretty big pasture um, that bordered on, uh, on a small lake. So I would go as far as I could try to eyeball out. It, it ran out of the lake a little bit, so they didn't go around. Um, eyeball that, make sure that was okay, and I'd come back and I'd start on the other leg and follow that all the way around and, uh, and to the lake. <coughs> when I found the short, which was usually caused by a deer jumping over and tangling the electric fence with the barbed wire, um, then I'd have to go back and shut down the uh, electric fencer, come back, fix the short, untangle the wire, go back, turn it on. If there was still a short, then I had to continue my patrol and find another spot. If it, uh, if it didn't show a short, then I was good for the day. But uh, It was pretty frustrating to go a long ways around, far into the pasture, find a short, have to hike all the way back, and uh, turn it off, and hike all the way back out there, fix the short, come all the way back, Turn it back on, and if it still read a short, it was really frustrating. But uh, you know, it wasn't too bad a gig. It was a lot more fun than carrying five-gallon pails of water or feed, which I also had to do. We had a uh, a big farmyard. Uh, it was a long ways from the house to the barn. My dad always used to say, you "Should put in a lunch stand halfway." so far. What? Yeah.